hello my lovely scorpio sun moon rising and venus signs let's see what is coming out for you for the month of july scorpios all right have faith throughout the year what is going on in regards to love all right so someone's going through an awakening here with passion and uh, religious factors deception from an ex here well you someone that you thought you could see your life with they want your forgiveness i have as, as you release a hill of the past your experience from love in your present moment scorpio so some heart to heart conversations is happening as we go throughout july and past release that past life relationship there's a strong bond with this person all right you're gonna have a heart to heart conversation Scorpios. and i don't know if this is you or this person but you just don't want to be bothered you just don't want to be bothered you feel like they're full of baloney like here they go again wanting your forgiveness here you hurt me so many times and as you clear your energy out scorpios here comes this person all right a lot of passion that you guys feel towards each other i feel like you haven't felt nothing like this in a while you thought this person you know it's your soulmate you you really really did and it's like the passion is it's intense here for some of you at the month of july you guys are going to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation actually about where this where this relationship is headed for those of you who are not dealing with the ex situation okay you know you're this could also be I, you know i was doing virgo's energy to where it's like just be aware of self-sabotage here i feel like virgo's energy it actually came out in the same spot but like that so if you're dealing with the virgo check that out as well but i feel like just be more so concerned and deceiving yourself here and it's in regards to a past right we can have new love we can meet new people we can date them but then we get triggered we start to compare them to their to our past and if they're gonna hurt us or lie to us here this person is not your expert so scorpio so just be mindful of that all right I have the two of pentacles, the moon, and the six of swords. You could be worried about where this is going, okay? Um, take it slow. Have fun. Get to know each other, all right? You know, you don't have to... Um you don't have to race towards love. You can see the two of pentacles. You know, you made a you made a decision to move forward. You're on the boat now. You see this boat in the background here, Scorpios. And now you're, you know, you're coming to a conclusion. You're coming to a head to a decision here with this person. So really religious factors. I feel like with some of you, you know, some of you a passion has fizzled out. You're gonna focus on yourself. You know, you're gonna um let the universe guide you in love here you know you've been through a ringer some of you again with the ex you're going to choose to move forward and just focus on yourself here. and as you do this person just really doesn't want to let go so expect a deep um conversation here but i feel like there's a new love a new beginning for you that's going to come in very very fast because you have gone through an awakening you know um also this person they'll be putting in the work right they could be putting in the work wanting your forgiveness realizing what they did wrong want to date want to have fun with you here the feelings are pure so you're your discernment scorpios fire sign energy strong sagittarius if you're dealing with the one that's been hot and cold off and on they they're really going to make it work and lock it down okay so you know i always say when we go to these type of readings personal readings is very ideal for your situation here um because you feel a time of where it's like something has got to give and i feel like for some of you you're just over your own bullshit right you know deceiving yourself here putting on a mask not really um knowing that you want real love true love marriage but dealing with people who are emotionally unavailable or can't give you what you want so i feel like scorpio you're going through the awakening with that could be focusing on money and work, but someone's going to make the effort. They're going to try. You know, they, they miss you a lot with the Ten of Pentacles, but I feel like abundance is going to come in regardless. What does this past person want to say to you, Scorpios? I left when I saw you with someone. They're thinking about reaching out. I'm starting to understand our connection. I want to feel that way again. You have a hold on my heart. And then I have I want to be more than friends. Yeah, I really, really want to work on this. We will be together again. So there's that forgiveness, you know. What is their intent? Yeah. Ugh, there you are, three of wands energy, just the seven of wands. I feel like your guard is going to be up. You're going to move forward. You know, yeah, thank you for apologizing and everything like that. But I can finally have closure to move on. I feel like you're going to keep your options open. But this person doesn't want to let you go. They're, 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 they're going to try to stay in your life no matter what. I feel like Scorpio's... They won't go down without a fight. Yeah, we're trying to romance you, trying to find a peaceful resolution, but I feel like you're just over it, Scorpios. But they're going to try one more time to attempt to reconcile with heart-to-heart -heart conversations. What do they want to discuss here? 
the anxiety over losing you, the sleepless nights that they had, that there's been a pull to them. Again, the universe is pulling them towards you to apologize and make it work. It's kind of like you can see with the magician and lover's hair, that sparkling light where they're following that. I wish I told you how much you really meant to me. I'm trying to think of what I want to say to you. I still remember the good times we shared and I can't take this anymore exactly because I need to say something to you. Like, I miss you. I feel a strong pull towards you. You're my person. I feel you moving on and I do not want that to happen with girl talk, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. It's like, holy shit. You know, you're going to have options. You're going to date. So that surprise, that epiphany, that sudden change, and realizing that you mean serious business, Scorpios, right? You're taking a chance, but they're not showing their hand here, being strategic about this, and they don't want to show you that they're hurt, that they're grieving you, that they're mourning the loss of you here. They're still kind of immature in that sense, but they're they're internally going through it. They're internally going through it, and it's only a matter of time before they say something towards you. I have nothing yet set in stone, Scorpios. And a personal issue will reach re resolution and don't let your past hold you back from the beginning, Scorpios, all right? I'm going to leave it here, guys. Have a wonderful week.